Hi again. Oh, I love this. I really do. People, as I spin you around all over the place and I get you dizzy, like I usually do, <laughs> I'd like to tell you something. I really love you guys. I really do. I know you might hate me. That's okay. Doesn't matter. I never hated you. Never did, really. I get mad with you sometimes. Probably get mad with me. You know what I'm saying? That's what friends are all about, isn't it? But, oh, I'm evil because I'm an evil Calvinist. <gasps> oh. I'll tell you what. Since I've been on YouTube, nobody has ever actually shown me or convinced me or given me any scriptures to beat any one of my videos yet. So I'll give you a little challenge here. If you can prove to me after I'm done making my video, like let's say the video on, on Romans 9 clearly explains. If you can prove to me here, if you can somehow or another wiggle out of that one, show me how you can do it. Give me your best shot because I'll tell you what, you can't. When somebody says, oh, Romans 9 is about nations. It's about nations. These Calvinists don't know what they're talking about. And I go, okay, okay, let's start off with verse 1. Verse, I'll take you verse by verse, and I will beat you. Because the problem is, is it's not me. It's that the scriptures don't lie. They're right in front of you. You can't twist them. It says, there is therefore no condemnation in Jesus Christ. That's true. Let us go to, I am telling you the truth, Romans chapter 9. In Christ, and I'm not lying. My conscience bearing witness, I have great sorrow and unceasing grief in my heart, for I could wish that I was cut or I were accursed and separated from Christ for the, for the sake of my brethren. That's plain and clear. I think we agree that Paul's upset that the Jews had rejected Messiah. So I don't think we have a contention there. Let's go to the next verse here. Let's go to this one here. But it is not as though the word of God has failed. Right? It's not as though the word of God has failed. For they are not all Israel, Israel who are descended from Israel. What does that mean, people? What, 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 is, what is the context? Let's take a look at what the context is. Because I really want to know if you can refute the idea of the context of this verse. So I don't think you can. It's saying that the gospel didn't go, that the, the, the Jewish people rejected it. That his own people rejected it. But it is not as though the word of God failed. This is talking about the gospel going to people. So this isn't just talking about nations here. This is talking about the truth of the gospel and, the, and, and what the gospel says. That not all Israel is descended from Israel. And neither are they all children because they are Abraham's descendants. But... Through Isaac, your descendants will be named. I want to ask you a very, very important question. What does that verse mean? Through Isaac, your descendants will be named. Right? If, 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 if Isaac, okay, if Isaac, all right, if his children were all saved, then there wouldn't be any verse here that says, oh, I could, I could feel accursed because of my people. If it didn't have to do with the gospel, it wouldn't have said it isn't as though the word of God failed. So what does this verse mean? If you're so smart and it's not about nations, explain to me, explain to me very clearly. Uh, uh, through Isaac, what does through Isaac your descendants will be named mean? That it is not the children of the flesh. Wait a minute. If it's not Isaac's children, because Isaac, if it was of the flesh, right, all of Israel would be saved, right? Would they not be? If it was of the flesh, but it says not of the flesh. So this is talking about Isaac, not of the flesh. What does that mean? Can you explain it to me? Because I can explain it to you very, very clearly. Okay. For this is the word of promise. All right. It is not of the flesh. Uh, 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 okay. That, that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God. Who are the children of God? Is this talking about nations about, or is it talking about who are the children of God? Are we talking about nations or are we talking about who? Who are the children of God? Hello? Knock, knock. Who are the children of God? There is what the context of this whole thing is all about. Refute it because I don't think you can. Okay? That verse right there, I, I, there's no way you can refute that. It says that that is, it is not the children of the flesh who are regarded as, as the children of God, but the children of the promise who are regarded as descendants. 
Is this talking about the gospel not going to the Jews, but also going to the Gentiles? It ties in down here where it says, even us, uh, it says, even us whom he has called, not from among the Jews only, but also from the Gentiles. Explain to me how that doesn't tie in, verse 24. Explain to me, because I don't think you can. Refute it. I dare you, because you can't. There's no way you can. The Bible is clear. You're rejecting it. Then he, she goes, now we say, oh, he's talking about nations. For this is the word of promise. So then he starts to explain who the children of God are, and he brings up this idea of Sarah. For this is the word of promise. At this time I will come, and Sarah will have a son. Now Ishmael was another son, right? Ishmael was another son, but he wasn't the son of the promise. All right? So the son was Isaac, Yitzhak. They laughed about that. And not only this, but there was Rebekah also. And she conceived twins. But not, but not all Israel is Israel, because one of the twins was not chosen, and the other one was Jacob. And by the way, Israel are the chosen people, right? Tell me that this is not what it's talking about. And not only this, there was Re Rebecca, uh, who had twins. And for though the twins were not born yet born and had not done anything good or bad in order that God's purpose according to his choice might stand, not because of, of, of works, but of because of him who calls. Now, when we go back to this verse here, that is, it is not, it is not the children of the flesh who are children of God, but the children of the promise. This is talking about that who are the children of promise. Not all Israel is Israel. He doesn't choose everybody. He didn't choose all the descendants of Israel. He chose Paul, but many of the Israelites have rebelled. He had, he had sorrow in his heart because they all rebelled. Come on, people. I'm waiting for an answer because I don't think you have one. You don't even understand Romans 9. And it was said to her, the older will serve the younger, even though they hadn't done anything different, anything wrong, anything good or bad, to make God choose or make them choose. And when it says right here about the children of God, because this is what the whole thing is talking about, uh, they hadn't done anything good, and good or evil in order that. God's purpose, according to his choice, might stand, not because of works by men, but because of him who calls, not because of us who choose. You notice that, that, that it, it is not talking about nations. It's talking about who are the children of God. Next here. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have a compassion on whom I have compassion. But it's talking about who are the children of God. You have to look at the context now, don't you? So then, it does not depend on the man who wills or the, or, or the man who runs, but on God who has mercy. Is this talking about nations, or is this talking about depending on who the children are? It does not depend. It does not depend, right, on who wills or who runs, but on God's mercy. Then it says, for the scripture says, it's explaining all this stuff to you people, but knock, knock, you don't want to hear it, but you're going to, now, aren't you? Refute me, okay? Go ahead, refute it, because you can't. So then he has mercy on whom he desires and on whom he desires he hardens. Because he said to the Pharaoh, for this very purpose, I raised you up to demonstrate my power in you. And that my name might be proclaimed throughout the whole earth. So this is why he rose up Pharaoh. And, was, and then he, he says, you, you will say to me then, why does he still find fault for who has resisted his will? But uh, indeed, who are you, O man? On the contrary, who are you, O oh man, who answers back to God? The, the thing molded will not say to the molder, why did you make me like this, will it? What's this about, people? Is it about nations, or is, it, or is this whole thing tying in to the idea of who God chooses and who God doesn't choose? Because it's talking about who are the children of God. Read the context, it's right there. Now, all this baloney that you're trying to, trying to blow out is really backfiring, because I know you don't have an answer. Or does not the potter have the right over the clay to do or to make from the same lump of uh, lump one vessel for honorable use and the, uh, another for common use? What is he talking about? That he raised up the Pharaoh to, 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 to show his power. What if God, although willing to demonstrate his wrath and make his power known, endured with much patience the vessels of wrath prepared for destruction? And he did so in order that he might make known the riches of his glory upon the vessels of mercy, which he prepared beforehand for glory. Is this talking about nations? Is this talking about the, is this talking about the vessels of mercy that God is going to have mercy on? Hello? Come on. Give me an answer because I don't think you can. Come on. I'm taunting you here. 
Because it says here, even us, it says, and he did this so that he might make known the riches of his glory upon the vessels of mercy, which he prepared beforehand for glory, even us. Get it? Even us. Is this talking about nations or is this talking about even us? Even us, whom he also called not from the Jews only, but also from the Gentiles. As he says in Hosea, I will call those who were not my people my people, and her who and her who is not my beloved my beloved. Yeah, this is talking about the nation of Israel and who the children of God are, who the chosen are. This is talking about salvation, people. Now you come on. Take every single verse and you try to pull it apart and now you give me an answer because I know you don't have one. Come on, buddy. You got it. 